Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to this nightmare here in Immortality. I still think like the number one most important thing to me is figuring out what the hell happened that caused none of these movies to come out. We have sort of a vague idea with Minsky. Something happened to Carl and yeah, but we don't have any idea with this other stuff. I've also been thinking about, like, what the backwards lady is or what she represents. It does seem like... I don't know. My current... The current vibe I'm getting is, like, she is... She's representative of, like, something that Durek is projecting onto the starlets. And, like, maybe a way that he was, like... He was interested in Sophia here... But then that interest shifted onto Marissa and sort of followed her, right? And that's why he, in his, this movie that he's written and directed, he's written and directed it for her, sort of about her, to give her something to star in. And then we don't know for sure whether two of everything, like there's this big gap in Marissa's career. We don't actually know if that's the case for, um, for John Durick, though. If it is, though, it would make a lot of sense. He he disappears after Minsky. Not disappears, obviously. He's doing, like, post-explosion post press. But, um, but then he, like, whatever it is that was inside of him eventually wells up into this film that is about a woman and her double, right? It's very curious. I think I just talked myself into making this a two of everything episode. We know a fair amount about Minsky, not a conclusive amount, but a fair amount. We know a fair amount about Ambrosio in the same way, but at this moment we still know basically nothing about two of everything, so I guess let's fix it. Uh, so we're going to want to use here, like this will work. We're going to want to use a performer who doesn't appear in one of the other movies. So like either one of these characters should work. Um, this is, is this the only scene that that dude appears in? Oh, interesting. If I have the tool selected and I press left or right, um, which is how I had been controlling speed before, it just hops around to different objects in the scene that are significant. What is, th huh? Weird. Okay. Okay. Sure, a cart, I guess. Well, let's make sure we're at the beginning here. Scene 31 through 32, rehearsal. Remembering Mark's kiss. Ma'am, may I offer you something to drink before we depart? Yes. <laughs> I'm used to looking at you and seeing myself. I'm not used to seeing female flight attendants. <laughs> You don't get to fix my wine rage this time. <laughs> well... Don't worry, I'm not going to go over any wine this trip. <laughs> Could it permit? Ma'am, may I offer you something to drink before we depart? Yes, actually. Do you have the tea I like? The green tea? The Sencho or the Baiji Mok? Oh, the second one. Please, and thank you. Right away. Would you like some slippers? Yes. to a little while later. Other sleeps? On the other side of the plane, the bodyguard reads a paperback thriller. And cut. How was I? I stole our hearts. Hmm. 
What a strange exchange. This whole thing is so... I'm used to looking at you and seeing myself as a... It's just a very significant thing for a human to say, right? Even in a situation where it did make sense. But also, I'm not sure I understand the significance of it here. Hold on a second. I just realized I definitely moved my notebook again. I am so... All right, hold on. My notebook's over there. Here's the thing about objects in space. Um, I'm good at it in a sort of a theoretical sense and very bad at um, physical organization. <laughs> anyway. So this is at least a scene from Two of Everything. It's, <laughs> it's weird that we got here by jumping from cart to cart, but it'll work. I want, I want more of this lady. vanishes. Maria exits onto the street. We think it didn't work. Hold on. I did, I did the thing again where I just started playing the clip where it was. We should definitely go to the beginning of the clip. Scene 75 through 80, rehearsal. Okay, we've seen Maria skip the line and get admitted to the club. We cut inside and see Andrew and Isabella in the VIP booth with an entourage. Isabella whispers something to Andrew, and they both laugh as a waitress arrives with a round of drinks. Now out of the corner of your eye, Andrew, you look here. You see Maria. We see Maria. She's checked her coat. We truly see her now. She looks like a goddess. And she dances. <laughs> I think I'm hearing the sound in the left audio channel. We'll come back and investigate that in a minute. Maria exits onto the street. We think it didn't work. Then the limo pulls up. Okay, let's break here. It is wild to film that whole dance. They're just going to put that whole... I have to imagine that sitting there in the theater, it's going to feel very long. <laughs> uh, okay, so early on, around the time the dancing started, I think we got... I think we had backwards sound. It wasn't super long. I'm not expecting... I'm expecting a, an overlay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Nope, stop. Got it. With an entourage. It lasts for quite a long time. There it is. Okay, there's the end. So, yeah, we'll just step back slow. Oh, interesting.
So what's really interesting about that is that I had us rewinding at the slowest possible speed there, and she was just kind of gently overlaid. Like, um, you know, we had a partial transparency. When I dialed the speed up one more notch, it got solid color like this. Like, it completely obscured the scene. But I had already pressed um, accelerate one more notch, and doing that, it turned back into a transparency. So this footage only becomes this clean and its own clip when it's played back at one specific speed that is in the middle of the slow speeds. I was using the, the like step speed up command. So I wonder if that's the case with some of the other stuff that we've, we had seen as like transparent overlays. If maybe I was dialing in the speed wrong and there was more footage to be seen. Huh? So, so this is the direction that the footage is playing forward, right? We can tell that this is forward, despite the fact that... We can tell that this is forward from the, the movement of her clothing, right? The, the way her clothing reacts to the physics of her arms and stuff. Um, but the film's playing in reverse right, uh, right now. Like, if I press... <clears throat> Yeah, I, I get it moving by pressing left, by pressing the, the go backwards button. If I put the film in, yes, yeah, spinning in the correct direction mode, it plays this clip backwards. <clears throat> so that answers a question that I had about that clip where she seemed to be speaking before. Um, where we were running the real film backwards, but the clip... You know, it was not clear to me whether the clip inserted backwards into the film was itself forward or was again reversed there um, for the purposes of like trying to determine what she was saying. But it seems like it, it probably was as we saw it playing forward. I do not know what to make of this. <laughs> if I. I actually can't match on her here. That's interesting. Maybe if we move it to a frame where I get a little bit clearer view of her face. Okay, I was just curious if it would if it would do anything different. <laughs> she represents Durek's obsession with maybe. I don't know. Like it it totally seems like the plot of this film could be him trying to like exercise whatever's going on with him. And maybe what we're seeing here is like some sort of internal perception. Like he perceives this backwards lady or maybe she is fully abstract I don't know I just don't feel like we have enough to go on yet I hate to just be like well let's watch some more videos because it, fe <laughs> it feels like you know those days in class where your teacher was just like fucking I gotta put in a movie I am so hungover but <laughs> like I do think we need more footage I do think we need more info scene 81 rehearsal Maria finds Andrew alone in the back of the limo. It's dark in there. I like how you dance. Please. So there's like some level of background noise right now, but I can't, it doesn't quite sound like the right thing.
interesting. Just a little something. I already took one at the club. <laughs> What's your name? Christina. Christina. When we get back to my apartment, I'm going to tell you exactly what I want you to do. And you're going to do it for me. did I just take? Candy. Candy. <laughs> really? <sighs> huh. So like, <clears throat> I'm sure I don't have to say this, but <laughs> no matter how sexy it seems, don't accept mystery pills from a, from a person you just met, um, regardless of how they put them into your body. That's a weird reaction to... First of, all, first of all, how did he not know? How was that not, like, cleared beforehand? They're, I guess they're making this film on, like, shoestrings or something. There'd be a coordinator on set for, I don't know. Um, also, her eye line's super weird, right? Like, if we go back to... She's like kind of I guess I guess she's looking at him. I thought she was like kind of checked out and um <clears throat> disassociatey looking. But no, I guess that's all right, never mind. Never mind. I'm I'm looking real hard for things of significance. Hard enough that I'm going to find them, damn it. Okay, so the glass itself is interesting. Let's let's move on him. Keep it very nice. Rehearsal scene 43 through 44. Okay, so Terry, keep up the JFK. The dregs of the party, you're chatting. Heather nods off. Oh. Boy, this has been fun, but I think I'd better call it a night. Oh, are you sure, darling? We have another round on the way. That's okay. I'm already regretting the last one. Well, all right. Go get your beauty sleep. Not that you need it. Come. I'll walk you to your room. Isabella, I better still have the cocktail when I get back here. Don't be too long, then. That has never been my problem, my dear. <laughs> so, no. heck of a thing to admit about yourself, I guess. Keep it very nice, keep your distance, very respectful. Oh, shoot, I forgot my key. Here, I'll swipe you. You have a key to my room? I have a key to all the rooms in my home. <laughs> I keep forgetting this isn't like the Four Seasons. That's a little nicer than that. It's a lot nicer. It's... Ding! Okay, well, thank you. Oh. Elevator door closes. Cut. Let's move on. Terry, you get to show your true self. <sighs> okay. I love stock henchman number three. <laughs> that guy's killing it. Okay, so that dude's name is Terry. Uh, maybe he's referring him to referring to him by the character name. Terry, you get to reveal your true self. Um, the poster for this movie on the Steam store page has the names Amy Archer and Larry Godwin on it, in addition to Marissa and John. So I had kind of been assuming he was Larry Godwin, but maybe not. It seems like he's a character who's of, of some pretty serious significance, right? So you would expect... It, Terry still might be the character. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it. Out of curiosity, is the ladder significant? Yes, we're clicking ladder. Okay, we're just, yeah, we're going to get more of these. I was kind of hoping for, like, you know, a ladder is an object of, of accident, an object of bad things happening. Could perhaps the ladder have been involved in some trauma? But, yeah, it was just on the, right, it's still on the soundstage. That's fine. 
Let's see what this one's about. Scene 84, rehearsal. Strange sight on the rooftop. In the pool, a writhing trio of bodies. Isabella is naked in the center with her two bodyguards. Everyone too absorbed at first to see the elevator door opening onto the roof. What the fuck? Blam, blam. You fucking monster. You're the monster. This is a bad dream. Maria. She tries to rush past, but Maria is open. No. Isabella turns and swims for the other side of the pool. Maria dives in and slices through the water like a bullet. Maria puts on the pressure, strangling her with her bare hands. Isabella's too weak to fight her off. Isabella's arms drop. Her eyes widen a moment of clarity before her death. You. In this bloody water, Maria is baptized, ready to be reborn. She moves slowly. Sacred water sinks underwater and swims away. When she resurfaces in the shallow end, the blood from her crimes has been washed away. Her hair slicks down to her head. In the midst of the chaos, she is clean. She steps out of the pool like she's being reborn. She walks away, and we hear applause. So, we knew this one was directed by Derek. We didn't know if he was the writer, I think. We didn't have that um, certainty. Listen to the reverence with which he reads those words. That's his writing. He's, he's definitely... He is the writer, and he's quite proud of himself. <laughs> Alright, there was, for sure, a sound. Let us go and investigate. Uh, it was like way back though. It was it was at the strangulation. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna try to dial this in. Oh, we're still going backwards. Oh, sorry, I thought we were slow forward. Okay, there it goes. So we just gotta find the right speed. It would seem. Yeah. That'll do it. I had a lot of time to think. I regret how I acted. I don't understand how you're here. You're not here. It's different. Amy did it. Amy's still here. Yes. I want to help you. Like all the time. Okay, well, that's very creepy. Um, so. I had theorized that maybe the reason that Backwards Lady was looking into the camera so much when we were watching the footage from Ambrosio was because we knew that John was operating the camera, but this is, this is not camera, right? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we're looking at, to be perfectly honest with you. Amy did it. Amy's still here. I mean, Amy Archer's name is on the poster for this film. We don't have a name, I don't think for the woman who was just killed in this scene. The character's name is Isabella, but John hasn't said. There was that really long table read scene. Did they say her name in that? This is, I, I want this off the screen. <laughs> They're creeping me the fuck out. Hold on, we gotta, we, I mean, we gotta check, right? We gotta check, we gotta fill in the notes. Uh, we want to go all the way back. All right, read for scene one through nine. We'll just go straight through. Over black. Final check in 20. No, nope, he does not, six. in fact, introduce people at the beginning of the read. I want to help you, like, okay. 
I don't know. I feel like every episode we're sort of like peeling back one layer and discovering another new layer of things getting weirder here. But I don't feel like we've like gained any information. I still don't know what the fuck happened <laughs> in these movies. I don't know why none of these were released. I don't know what happened to Marissa. And at this point, we're gaining questions constantly, but we've not gotten a single answer. I hate to sound like a broken record, but I don't know what to do with it except to watch more footage, right? Just keep trying. All right. This dude, give me give me more, give me more of this. No, this one we have. I need Let me wind that back a little. There, something else, something new. Come on. Had a lot to drink too tonight. Okay, new. Good. Scene 45, rehearsal. All right, first, let's just run through the whole thing. Feel it out. Terry, effortless at the bar. Want anything? Manhattan. Oh, no, thank you. I definitely had too many downstairs. Manhattan with extra cherries. Uh, you get close to me. You like to keep things sweet. <laughs> had a lot to drink, too, tonight. But I just can't get enough. You're fantastic. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Stop saying that. What? Stop thanking me. You're acting like you're lucky to be here, like you haven't worked hard to get exactly where you're standing. But it's no accident. You're incredibly talented. Um, well, uh, I guess you could say I've worked hard and I've gotten lucky. Shut up. Sorry. All I'm trying to say is that you don't think for a second that you don't deserve this. No perfection. I'm not. Hold this. Hey, hey. Relax. Hey, wait. Let's stop. Stop it! Crap, I'm sorry, let me get a towel. Stop apologizing. O okay. I paid you $10 million for one night. Am I wrong? No. Sorry. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. What does a $10 million night look like? It doesn't finish with a polite nod at the door. I want to feel like you appreciate it. I want you to be grateful. Understood? I don't know. I want to leave now. You can't. Okay, we're... We're just getting started. <laughs> Michael's under the bed. <laughs> You're making a mess out of your party dress. Let's get you out of that thing. Into the bathroom. Oh, you caught me wrong. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Come out. Come out. Cut to Maria. She's in the bath with a face mask, ignores the phone, talks to the cat. Heather can't come to the phone right now. She's busy relaxing like a normal person. Beep. I know, babe. I know. I'll call them back when I'm done. Cat screeches as pre lap. I'm gonna wait out here all night. It's my birthday. Damn it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bitch. Cut. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, well, I gotta be honest with you. I'm real uh, relieved that we didn't have to witness another sexual assault. Um, and, like, zero surprise at when the audio thing happened there, right? I think it would probably be faster to get back to it from the beginning. Huh. Okay, there it is. There it is. The plight. Wait, 
until we get to the end. This is a long one. I wonder how weird this scene's going to be. Okay. Let's find out. Sorry. No. I'm not wrong. What does a $10 million night look like? It doesn't finish with a polite nod at the door. I want to feel like you appreciate it. I want you to be grateful. Understood. No. No. You can't, okay? We're just getting started. You're making a mess out of your party dress. Let's get you out of that thing. No. Come out. Come out. I'm going to wait out here all night. It's my birthday. How many I kill? There's no way. Huh. Well, can we? Um, no, right. I was, <laughs> I was trying to back up, but we're in reverse, right? Let me forward. Apologies for people who are less cool with gore than I am. I'm just trying to. So I don't know, like, it makes a lot of sense as, um, by the way, the function of that, where I had to dial in the specific, like, that was very much like another scene that we saw earlier where I had to dial in a specific, and I had to dial in a specific scene to get it really, a uh, speed to get it to really take over. So we need to jump back to that other thing. But in order to do that, I have to remember where it was. But while I'm trying to do that, that definitely feels like the reaction that an actress who had been traumatized in some way would have during that scene, right? Like inside she is like tired of, of replaying versions of her trauma over and over again for an audience to be titillated by. And that does suggest that backwards lady is perhaps an emergence of Marissa's rather than emergence of John's, but maybe it's like, <sighs> fuck, I don't know. We're talking about actual supernatural stuff here. Like maybe it's something altogether weirder than I'm even um, sort of giving air to. Where was that other... It was this, right? I think it was this scene. I'm Debbie. <laughs> you didn't wait your turn. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. Uh, sorry, click and... Okay, so we just have to dial in the right speed. Yep. I'm getting good at this. Do you know any artists that aren't disgusting? Stay away. Well, now that's curious, right? Because that sounds like the sound. Oh! Wait. I was able to wind it past the point where it converges with the other clip. Do you know any artists that aren't disgusting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to shut up for a second so y'all can hear this. Um, but there is, there's a moment right before he walks in where we get the sound here. Stay away. Oh, right. Sorry, we're backwards. Uh... That's weird. That's the first time that one of these clips has behaved like one of the normal clips. It feels like instead of seeing a thing that's hidden, we've walked into like a different dimension here. This music track is new too, right? This, I don't think this is...
you know any artists that aren't disgusting? Stay away. It didn't happen that time. I think this is more complicated than I've been making it. Which is bad news, because I didn't understand the thing I thought I was looking at before. We saw a we saw a, a super po, a, a super pose a sub uh, a, a superimposed backwards lady in another behind the scenes clip, and I just didn't know how to dial it in. It was the one where it's the one where the wings guy is in the oh, shit. Where is that? It's one of the Ambrosio clips. Uh. Where is that? Is it this? Yeah, it's this one. It's this one. Okay, hold on. Why don't I go here? Shouldn't I be sat where you are? Okay, we're pretty close. Careful with her. You're gonna extract a confession out of you. She's very persuasive. You're lucky I can't reach you through this grill. How is filming going? Okay, there it is. Okay, better. I found the 20th century overwhelming. I ended up in London, swept there by the culture. I modeled. I hadn't thought much about movies, but when they told me Fisher wanted to see me, I watched his. It was amazing to me, because his movies are similar to how we see the world, the compression of time. I felt Fisher was an artist, and I helped to help, but he wasn't kind when we met. He wasn't interested in teaching me. He wanted slowly. Movies were like a sexual mania for him. He told me what to eat. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> uh, maybe altogether weirder. Um, I was definitely like assuming that the the weird shit we were seeing was like a metaphor. Uh, hmm, disabused. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's any other clips that we that we like missed the thing in where I didn't understand. We got to superimpose instead of actually seeing the footage because I didn't understand how to dial in reality. <sighs> Photons coming off the skin like a magic spell. I don't know. Let's go. Let's just let's just go get more. Right. Let's just get more footage. We're still we're still going to key off this dude until I know what his fucking name is. <laughs> we're going to key off this dude. Keep it very nice. OK, now this one we saw. I want to know if I'm Okay, yes, good, new. This particular film seems very rich with the backwards lady, which makes sense if the construction of the film is like somehow about her in some way, which again is sort of an idea about it, about her being more linked to Durek than Marissa. Maybe it's both, maybe it's. I don't Scene know. 82 through 83 rehearsal. Hey, let's just go for this. I'll follow your lead. Then we'll run it with Randy to see how to tackle the fight. All right, just take it nice and slow, and we'll break it down from there. Feel free to hit me. I could take it. <laughs> Let me start in the elevator. <sighs> Those drinks went to my head. Don't crap out on me now. Talked a pretty good game back in the car. You ever fuck in a pool? It's not where she died? Yes. I guess that's creepy. No, I like it. Huh. Thinking about someone that famous dying there, fucking there. There's like a thrill to it, all that dark energy. Like psychic fiasma. Fuck. You're a wild one. Hmm. Let me show you something. Ding. Door opens on the bedroom suite. It's dark. Andrew hits a light, subdued lighting. 
bedroom hasn't been touched from when Heather stayed there and looks like a crime scene. Broken glass and bed sheets. This is where she was staying. I told them to leave it, so it's exactly the way it was when Maria died. It's a new art piece for my collection. I call it the end of celebrity. Need another drink or something stronger. Why are you showing this to me? You said you wanted to feel the dark energy. This just feels sad. Yes, well, Maria had a sad life. What makes you say that? Something I observed. You make a lot of money, you could go two ways. Either you grow with it, be happy. Or you stay small, and it makes you sad. I'm sure she thought of herself uh, some kind of artist, but when you get that famous, you're basically a whore. Is that what happened to you? <laughs> you want to know if I fucked her? Tell me what you did to her. I just noticed you look a lot like her. There's something weird going on. Do you like that I look like her? <laughs> Take off your clothes. Tell me what happened. She didn't die by accident. Oh, she didn't do as she was told. I didn't like that. Will you take off your clothes? Now. You killed her? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I think we need to no, take a no, break. No, 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 no. She gasps, scrambles around, reaches. The gold mic is still under the bed. Hand reaches in there and Mike. Did you kill her? Why do you fucking care? No, I didn't kill her. My wife did. She put you up to this, didn't she? She's a clever one. Normally she has her boys do her dirty work. Sending you is a novel twist. Never thought she'd hurt me, though. Where is she? Where is she right now? She's probably up on the roof, swimming in the pool where she killed that bitch Maria. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give you anything you want. You can't give me what I want. really interesting to see it that way i wonder how many people see this before they see the version of the scene where the backwards lady actually kills him because it really changes your like <laughs> it changes the way that hits you right all right so obviously we have the sound again um this time it was really loud so i'm theorizing at this point that that's sort of like the level of the interference is a hint as to the speed it needs to be viewed at. And I'm guessing that the one we saw is going to be a, like a one X backward or the, the one we heard here. It was like way back though. Well, okay. You provoke. You made me choose between them and you. I had them burn you. Huh. And what do we make of other people? Like, because this didn't happen, right? <laughs> like, what are we actually watching? What do we make of people in the scene being conscious of her, aside from the person she's directly interacting with, which is a thing I think we've never seen before? 
<laughs> oh, I just remembered. Okay. We'll come back to whatever this is. Move your asses into we had a we had a, a, a superimposing event in this one, didn't we? Like close to the end, and I didn't know how to handle it. Okay, slower, 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 slower. There it is. Is that the whole thing? Wait, no, stop. Shit. I desynced us and I can't change it now. Ugh. I'm a little afraid to touch it because I don't know how I got us back in tune and I don't want to break it. But yeah, let me see if I can. So we'd want to go forward to go backward. Okay, so we wind it this way a bunch first. It's not going to be the whole scene, is it? It totally is. This is the whole table read scene. But with Durek missing. I mean, Durek and Marissa are both missing, obviously. But with the, the backwards lady as Marissa and Durek just gone. Hmm. This is as fast as it'll go, by the way. This seems really long. I mean, like, part of me wants to watch the whole thing just to see if there are any differences. The subtitles look the same, though, as I remember it. Let's at least get to the end to see if there's a any significant change. Durek has a line at the beginning of this, right? Doesn't he say something? He says, like, let's... He's the one who introduces that it's a read-through of scenes one through eight. I want to see if Backwards Lady has that line. This is taking four fucking ever. I don't want to touch the video controls because I think it'll break. The video controls have traditionally not been very functional in Backwards Land. Okay. So... Yes. We'll go straight through. Over black. Final check in 20. Group three to the stage. Move your asses. Interior, backstage corridor, NBA awards. Harry producer opens door into an empty dressing room. Fuck. Closes it. Paper on door reads Maria. Back into the corridor and jogs. Stage manager going the other direction, followed by backing dancers and crew. Producer's walkie spits in his ear as he fights through the crowd. This is the biggest night of your life, so I hope you took your vitamins. We're going to watch it until the first part where Marissa is supposed to speak. Backing singers in bright colors harmonize as they shuffle past. It's the motherfucking music video awards. Producer sees a production assistant, Sue, he recognizes. Motions her over. Maria is MIA. She needs to be mic'd and ready. Go check the second floor. Quick. Wheels up in 20. On it. Jogs off. Fuck. Exterior. Hollywood Hills Mansion. Pool. Same. The sparkling swimming pool of a palatial Hollywood estate. It's lit up for a party, but only one person is there. Mark, 25, an underwear model type. He lounges at the poolside, eyes closed. Bare feet and long legs step up to the poolside. Over Mark, he opens his eyes. Nice. Ready for the show? Hell yes. Okay. Size the show. Can't we just tape it? Are you kidding? I want to watch this live. Kicks him off into the pool with a splash. So she is fully both John and Marissa. Or she's like the version of Marissa who sh who has John's job. If, you know, if if we're dealing with like some kind of idea of resentment where. Or she's something else entirely. 
who just feels like she could. I really don't even know. I really don't even know how to theorize at this point. I want to hear her sing. Interior video music awards hallway same. Right, because there's that bit where she does the whole she does the whole song. Uh, right, the round mirror room. That whole thing's very strange. We still don't know what the deal is with the round round mirror round face thing. I'm assuming we'll get there eventually. Interior, Hollywood Hills Mansion, living room, moments later, song continues on TV. You look hot. Don't you dare, we have the real thing right here. Sure, never saw Heather naked though. You wanna fuck her? Two Marias is better than one. Should I ask her? Really? Play slaps him. Pervert. Can't even tell us apart. You can too. See this? Insert on TV. Heather and her dancers nail a complex dance routine. Heather hitting a high note as she goes. You are not woman to get up on. But I want to cry when we get it all. You and I on the edge of it all. Pull me close, baby, when we start to fall. Is that a, it's a different tune, right? It's the same words. Hmm. It's very strange. I'm, I don't know anything else useful to say. It's very strange. You know what? I think this is a lot to chew on already. Um, we're a little shorter than usual, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. That's that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. This has gotten a lot weirder, and I'm very curious where it's all headed. Um, but I need some time to draw in my notebook some version of what I think is happening. Uh, so when you come back next time tomorrow, uh, we're definitely staying focused on this film. We're gonna we're gonna watch a lot more two of everything, and maybe start to get something a little bit more concrete now that I have a better idea of how to interact with the footage. Or alternately, we'll discover that I did not in fact have a good idea of how to interact with the footage, and we'll just get better at it again. And we'll see you then. <laughs>